my father is Kirk Taylor. He's a teacher at Heartland, and he tells me about things that go on in this area, and it seems like a nice community. Uh, I myself am gay, and I'm a young person, and that can cause lots of trouble. And when you hear of things like Dr. King's speech that one day he wanted his grandchildren, his posterity, to not be judged on the color of their skin, but the content of their character, I hope that one day we too can be judged on the content of our character and not who we love. Howell is the headquarters for the Ku Klux Klan. Does that really sound great on your racism record? The fact that they chose this city to come into? And you probably want to get rid of that. So how would you like more headlines of Howell denies gays, Howell doesn't protect them? This teacher, whom I fully support, finally stood up and said something. I've been in rooms, in classrooms, where children have said the worst kinds of things. The kinds of things that helped drive me to a suicide attempt when I was only nine years old. These are the things that hurt a lot. There's a silent holocaust out there in which an estimated six million gay people every year kill themselves. Is this really the environment we want for a school? Do we really want this on our record? Now, I'm saying that the best thing you can do right now is just give him his pay for that day and just reverse the disciplinary actions. He did an amazing thing. He did something that has inspired a lot of people. And whenever, ever, I have a teacher stand up for me like that, they change in my eyes. I support Jane McDowell, and I hope you do too. I just have to say that you are a very, very brave and very uh, unique young man, and we are all better uh, for having you in the world. Oh, thank you. You really are. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do in life, but whatever it is, you're going to be great at it because uh, wow. you really are uh, pretty, pretty special. So explain uh, the, the story. So a teacher was suspended for what reason? Uh, well, the teacher, there was a girl in his class, and she was wearing a Confederate flag belt buckle, and he asked her to remove it, and after he asked her to remove it, another student got up and said, well, why should gays be allowed to fly the rainbow flag, but she can't wear her belt buckle? And after a brief discussion, the boy started saying some homophobic things, and he asked him to leave the room. Okay, and then the teacher was suspended without pay. Yes. And then you heard about that and drove an hour to go speak at the school board. Yeah, uh, I drove up there with some people from a uh, group at a place called the Neutral Zone in Ann Arbor, where I live, and uh, we went on up there to go speak, and the rest is history. And you didn't, uh, it is history. It is history. Um, <laughs> it, it, you didn't write it down, it's not a speech, you just, from the t you just talked off the top of your head. No, I came up there and I got up to the podium and I remember, huh, I'm hungry. But then, after that, I just began to speak, and slowly I just thought of everyone that's ever been tormented or had such a hard life, and the rest just came out. Well, the, the, yeah. <laughs> um, the fact that you compare it to, to Dr. King and, and, and that you... First of all, that you're 14, a lot of straight boys at 14 are scared to say, I like girls, you know. So for you to be that confident and to be openly gay at this age uh, is, is pretty amazing and, and that you're so comfortable with yourself. Um, yeah, it takes time to get comfortable with yourself. It's not like <laughs> yeah, you just I know. <laughs> come out right there. I, I went through some very tough time learning to accept myself, but once I did, I just realized what a beautiful thing that is. <laughs> now, and how, how did, what, what age did you come out to your friends? How old were you? Uh, I was about 13 when I first came, started coming out to You're friends. 14 now? I'm 14 Okay. Now, yeah. So, uh, and how did you come out to your friends? Well, it's quite a funny story. The first two friends I came out to, Drew and Tyler, friends of mine, uh, we were in a room together, and I was getting really flustered because I felt like I needed to tell some of them. And I walked into a closet, and without, without really thinking about it, as I left the closet, I went, guys, I'm gay. And <laughs> I, and I literally came out of the closet. Right. And, and these are straight friends of yours? 
Yes, these are straight friends of mine. And they were fine? and They were fine. They just completely supported me, and it's been so great to have them there. It's really a blessing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a, a website called uh, tonic.com, and it's an amazing website, and they follow uh, the good things that people are doing. They, they love to find people like you and help people like you out. So what they're doing is they're giving you a $10,000 scholarship. Oh, my God. 